Dating back to the medieval times, draft horses were also known as war horses, carrying knights and their armor courageously to the front lines of battle. While in England, farmers began developing their own breed of heavy horse, specifically for farm work, the Suffolk Punch. It is said that this UK breed is not as known to Americans as the great UK breeds Clydesdales, Shires, and Percherons. Farmers used these incredibly strong suffolks for tilling and harvesting their land, so they rarely sold their horses, which is why Suffolk punches have been kept sort of unknown to us and stayed true to their original legacy of being great powerhouses for agricultural work. It is during the early 16th century the English draught horse breed called the Suffolk Punch was developed. This breed is also known as the Suffolk Sorel. The first part of the breed's name is derived from the county of Suffolk in East Anglia and the second part Punch is derived from their unshakable concrete, physical appearance of substantial strength. The Suffolk Punch Horse is one of the oldest draft horse breeds in existence and are one of the few remaining breeds that were bred specifically for farm work. The Suffolk Punch adapted to the conditions of their homelands in Suffolk and Norfolk regions, which are saturated with marshes and wetlands. Suffolks have short cannon bones, and because of that, they are able to plow the heavy clay soil when they walk because they do not raise their legs as high as Clydesdales do. They bring about much more efficiency for farming and hauling logs. In addition to that, they possess more bone density, and which allows for more endurance. These are just a couple of reasons why they are such wonderful horses for agricultural work. This magnificent breed performed farm work during the early 20th century. However, as machinery became increasingly popular, the breed's use in farming decreased so much that the Suffolk Punch horse disappeared almost completely. But by May 1961, the market for draft horses began to recover. There were nine foals registered with the Suffolk Horse Society, and since then, their numbers have risen continuously despite still being an endangered breed. Suffolk punches generally stand 16.1 to 17.2 hands and weigh 1,900 to 2,200 pounds and are always chestnut in color, ranging from dark to red to dull to light chestnut and more. Occasionally they have white markings limited to their face and legs, but it is rare. This powerful breed is shorter than other British draught horses, such as the Clydesdale and Shire, but it is more densely and enormously built. Their arching necks are powerful. They are well muscled and have sloping shoulders, short wide backs, and a broad croup. These mighty powerhouses have short but strong legs with broad joints with little or no feathering on the fetlocks. At one point, Suffolk Punch horses were criticized for their hooves, having hooves too small for their body mass, but this was later changed by having classes at major shows in which hoof conformation and structure were judged and which resulted in an improvement and now the Suffolk Punch has great foot conformation. Something that I found interesting is that they are economical to keep. Suffolk punch breeds need less feed than other horses of similar type and size. This, taken directly from Wikipedia, states that the first official exports of Suffolks to Canada 
took place in 1865. In 1880, the first Suffolks were imported into the United States, with more following in 1888 and 1903 to begin the breeding of Suffolk punches in the U.S. The American Suffolk Horse Association was established and published its first stud book in 1907. By 1908, the Suffolk had also been exported from England to Spain, France, Germany, Austria, Russia, Sweden, various parts of Africa, New Zealand, Australia, Argentina, and other countries. In the U.S. in 1954, it was believed there were less than 25 mares with only two breeding stallions, Brewster's Million and King Romeo. This, taken directly from SuffolkHorseSociety.org.uk. The Suffolk Horse Society are proud to have been a part of an innovative new project, resulting in the first ever birth of a healthy filly foal from sexed semen. The future of the Suffolk horse breed depends on having enough filly foals to keep the breed going. And last year, there were 19 colt foals born with only 15 foals in the whole of the UK. Now, a filly foal has been born following an innovative approach using sex-sorted sperm to determine the gender. It's the first time in the world that this technique has been used to support the survival of rare breeds. With fewer than 72 female Suffolk punches remaining in the UK of breeding age, every female born is vital to the survival of this endangered and iconic British horse. <laughs>